Welcome back to the 24th episode of Sports Avenue with Jim and Steve. Today we are talking about the NBA and the NHL free agency explosion that has been going on the last few days. It sure has been exploding. Just like fireworks on the 4th of July. Just pow, 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 pow. But or gunshots in Detroit and Chicago. Find us <clears throat> at Sports Avenue with Jim and Steve. Podbean.com. Link will be in the description. Follow us on Twitter at underscore Sports Avenue. Facebook, Sports Avenue with Jim and Steve. Instagram, Sports underscore Avenue 440. Twitch, Sports underscore Avenue 440. And as always, contact us through our Gmail, sportsav440 at gmail.com. Now, with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Hold on. Pump them brakes there, boy. Deep on see You guys didn't see it, but he pumped the brakes. Now... We are looking to start a website, and we're looking to start a brand, we're looking to write our own content, we're looking to do a whole lot more aside of this show. This show would be just become part of the brand. With that in mind, we need your help. Those who are listening and would like to help, reach out. Email please, us. please, please reach out. Email, again, sportsav440 at gmail.com. Any help would be appreciated. Absolutely. If you can't find us there, find us on Twitter, at underscore Sports Avenue. Reach out. Message us if you want to help. We need writers. I need website people. I need design people. I need countless other people. And we can do all this, and this could be really, really fun. So if you like what you hear, we make you laugh. We don't make you laugh. You hate us. Reach out anyway. Conversation's good conversation. With that in mind, let's get it going. So, a little quick fact to start off the uh, episode. In the NBA, the three highest paid players in this free agency so far were Clay Thompson for five years, $189 million, Tobias Harris, five years, $180 million, and Chris Middleton, five years, $178 million. And the reason that is because they all took the max contract for their own uh, home team. The NBA sets it up where... Your original team or the team that you're playing for can pay you more than the a team that you would go to that's not your home team. Interesting. That's pretty cool. But so, as, as you can see, a lot of people still don't care. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't, but I mean, if you're unhappy, you're unhappy. Like, you know, Clay, he stayed. He's in like a perfect situation. He gets to stay where he wants to play. Yeah, I mean, like what the three the three stars on the team are all younger. So, yeah. Well, it's Curry's in his. I think he just turned thirty, or he's like twenty nine. Clay's what twenty eight. Twenty nine. And then Draymond's twenty seven, twenty eight. Around there, yeah. So they'll all retire together. I don't know if Draymond will get a max though. Probably not. So Probably something less of a max. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um. But we're looking at that. KD sat with Brooklyn. Boom foot and all. And he got a loaded contract. Well, I mean, what you're supposed to do. But at the same time, you know, the Knicks come out and say, you know, oh, well, we didn't offer him a max because, yeah, he's, well, because he's, yeah, he had his Achilles, you know, repaired. Yeah. Can you really blame that? I don't blame the Knicks for not signing I don't him. either. It sucks. Stephen A has... You know, I've actually never felt bad for this man ever in my entire life, but I felt bad for him watching him sit there and take that abuse from Max Kellerman was hysterical. Giving him a Julius Randle jersey. Oh, my God. Oh, man, was it brutal. He's just sitting there in such despair. And you can just look in the eyes, and you can just know it's all genuine, too. Just, just insatiable sadness. And it's all hysterical. It is all so funny. Yeah, the Knicks are just not in a good and, place. But they dropped the ball on KD. And then Kyrie also signs with Brooklyn. And in the words of Stephen A., if we don't sign KD, Kyrie, or Kember. <laughs> Kember? Which they didn't get Kember either. No. No, uh, they... K- K- uh, Kyrie and uh, Kemba... No, not no. I take that back. Terry Rozier and Kemba switched teams. Because Terry uh, Rozier went to uh, the backup point guard on the Celtics this past year. Yeah, who's also legit. Went Terry Rozier, he's been he's been on the Celtics for a while. Yeah, um, he's he's legit. He's a legitimate backup. I actually think he'd be a pretty good shooter. He's a dribbler like Kyrie, but he doesn't have the he, he can't finish yeah. in all sorts of ways. He's not uh what's the word a contortionist like Kyrie is. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so Brooklyn, again, kind of loaded. In a matter Which of... is pretty weird to say. Because they've been... Since two years ago, we were like, <laughs> Brooklyn. Uh, you kind of forgot that they were in the NBA and had a nice uh, arena. Yeah. So with that in mind, so... Julius Randle goes to the Knicks. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. He's not awful, but he's... That's not a consolation. Well, you trade off Porzingis in hopes to grab and make space for these guys. I was gonna say like, and if, you bank on getting uh, if you had, Zion. If, oh. you, well, if you had Porzingis and you got Randall because you weren't able to get Zion, I think that'd be a good move. That's not a, that's not an awful move. But you, lo- I mean, he's just again, it's not the same magnitude of a guy like Chris, like Porzingis or Zion. So. Yep. It's that's that's a kick in the knackers <laughs> and the knackerbackers and <laughs> get it knickerbackers. <laughs> oh man, Jimmy Butler. He takes his talents down to South Beach. Well, yeah, but he got signed and then you know he got shipped. That sucks. Yeah, it wasn't a sign. That sucks. I don't think he wanted that. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, four year one forty. I mean, oh no. Enjoy bathing in your money. Yeah, and you know, in the sunset as well. Yeah, but, I mean, the heat down there, man. I can't do Miami. I can't do that. Um, but D'Angelo Russell only, yeah, only yes. goes from Brooklyn to the only the best team in the NBA, you know, in the last few years. So. God, can you really? And, and he gets paid, so. Yeah, yeah. And he's only 23. So, I mean. Four-year, 117. You know, I take that back. But those three guys, I, and now D'Lo, Again, they just so it was, so then what do you what do you play D'Lo because he's a he's either a point or a shooter. Yeah, he's, he's not going to be. He'll probably be, he'll probably forward. S- no, he'll probably play shooting guard while Clay plays the uh, forward. small forward. Yeah, because yep. Clay can play defense. So that makes sense. Cause, and cause Al Horford, dude needs to retire. He's thirty three years old and he gets signed by Philadelphia, but I don't get why Philly would pay him a lot of money because. Um, Four year one oh nine? Oh man. Well it's just they have Joel and B. They don't really need a center. I mean, Horford's not bad, but like or yeah, I just I feel like the fit doesn't make sense, I guess. What do you think he's gonna play power forward? I guess he could. I mean that's gotta be the right that that's gotta be your your look at yeah, it. Yeah. He's not gonna he's not gonna start over and No, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, he has to Then play. he just win. Who just won MVP? Giannis. Oh, man, whatever. No big deal. Giannis. We're not even talking about Milwaukee. Get out of here. So, oh, man. Well, I mean, Chris Middleton's also on Milwaukee. Yeah, but Middleton, I mean, it's not like he carried that whole team. So No, he was the complimentary player to Giannis. Which showed. We talked about it. Well, yeah, uh, as he's getting paid. As, he's getting hella paid. Five-year, 178. Woo! That's Tobias Harris is the same. He's a good complimentary player. He's not a household name. No, he's not. Middleton's he's a, not either. The only way, the only reason I know his name is because he spells Chris wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris with a K. Yeah, uh, Chris with <laughs> I don't know, that sounds weird. Anyway, Nikola uh, Vucevic. Vu- Vucevic. Yeah, Vucevic. All right, so come on. Cashed in on, all his, on his all-star year. And worked his magic. They ah, he, ah, he worked his magic. Ah, man. Four-year, $100 million. That's his max? Yeah, I think so. That's I'm, a pretty small max, isn't it? I don't know if it was a max, but that's what... Hey, the, you wrote max. You better check your facts, kid. Yeah. You know, see, four-year, 100 25 a year. Woo! That's insane. Harrison Barnes. Four year eighty five, huh? But he's going to a pretty good team in Sacramento. They're building I mean, Sacramento, yeah, but it's the West, so they, you got to go through two teams again anywhere. Yeah, but for Sacramento, yeah, in the playoffs is a victory in their season alone. <laughs> yeah, it is. They've been irrelevant for years. That is, yeah, yeah. which is sad. I mean, cause I I actually like their logo and everything. I do too. I don't hate it. Sacramento Kings, it's it's a it's it's a nice team. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad team. I think they could have done better though. So then, Bojan Bogdanovic. Wait, uh, is it Bojan or Bojan? Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic. Yep. Mormon County. <laughs> Country. Because he go, he's going to U- Utah <laughs> for four years and seventy-three million. He's a good scorer. He'll help Utah work a, a better offense. Definitely. Yeah. He's a three guy, isn't he? Yeah. So he'll keep things spread out. 
Oh, I also thought, I also want to just add a little like a Knicks joke. Uh, Julius Randle paired with R.J. Barrett is the only glimmer of hope left in Madison Square Garden for the Knicks. So just wanted to. What R.J. got was who? That's right. R.J. got three years, sixty-three. No, R.J. got drafted. I was talking about Randle getting signed. That's all he got was three years, sixty-three. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But you know, you, you, you got to give it to someone. <laughs> Ooh. Then Terry Rozier, he goes to the Hornets as he looks to be the replacement of Kember Walker. Kember Walker for three years at uh, fifty-eight million. That's not bad. That's a pretty good payday for him. Yeah, for being a back- for, for being a backup your entire career so yeah, far. Yeah, get out of here. Then uh, Kemba, that's that's a guy that used to be. You, a- you think Rozier's going to come in and start? Yeah, yes. He was the guy I used to trade for to get to be a backup yeah. to Kyrie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like he would have to. He has to start because. Oh, good luck, kid. Because you're on the Hornets. It. The Hornets just got rid of their best player and well, they lost their last best player in Kemba. So. Yeah, they didn't get rid of him. They lost. He was like, Nah, I'm gonna take more. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame Kemba for leaving. He should. He he deserves to win at this point. Yeah, he's not gonna do it in Boston though. Maybe. I disagree. Not at this point. Well. Philly looks like they're going backwards if Ben Simmons doesn't develop. They lost J.J. Redick in Butler, Jimmy Butler. Yeah, but Jimmy Butler went to a, a, a non-issue team. Well, I'm just saying they lost Redick's old. Well, they, well, Redick can still score, though. All he has to do is shoot the ball. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like They lost a lot of their talent. And if Simmons is still complacent with his development, Embiid's basically just going to sit here and carry the team. God, around. Ben Simmons. All he needs is a jump shot, man. A, a mid-range jump shot, and he'll be okay. By okay, I mean... Pretty good. Like, sit down, LeBron. <laughs> hey, Bron, sit down. Then, next up, Terrence Ross stays in Orlando to help lead the young team with Nikola Vucevic. Vucevic. For four years for $54 million. He was on the Raptors, and then they got rid of him, or he walked away. Then, you know, their team went on to go win the finals, just saying. So that's an unfortunate sequence of events for him. He could have his sucks to suck, pal. Brooke Lopez resigns with the Bucks, and he. You think he wants to go back to uh, Brooklyn? (laughs) Well, the Bucks are still good. Yeah, Bucks are legit. They were what? They ended up being the best team in the East, didn't they? Yeah. But they, the Raptors, clearly won it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Brooklyn gets to play with his brother Robin this year, with the uh, because he signed with the Bucks as well, and Brooke got four years, fifty-two million. So, he's having a nice payday. Then, Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio. He's going to Phoenix to help elevate the play of DeAndre Booker and DeAndre Ayton. He got three years for $51 million. He, I think he'll do good because he's a good passer and playmaker. Yeah, he's not much of a scorer. No, he'll, never, never really has, but he's an assist guy. He's like, uh, what the hell is his name? Rondo. Yeah. Yep. He's a good uh, Rajon Rondo. Just can't get the rebounds because he's... DeAndre Jordan. He's just going to destroy rims. and Yeah, that's all he's going to do. That's all he's going to need to do now in Brooklyn. Yeah, him and Jared Allen are two of the, like, the best rim protectors in the league. So, Yep, four-year, 40 mil. You can't really you can't really knock that. Dan Jordan was like 33 at the end of the year, wasn't he? Yeah. He's old, so... Well, he's got to hope. Man, he'd be playing big, that big three here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. I actually watched that the other day. It's actually pretty legit. Yeah. It's just a bunch of the old guys. It's just a bunch of old dudes, man. I saw names there. I'd, Amari Stoudemire, yeah. Greg Oden. I remember uh, uh, Nate Robinson. Yeah, there were oh, there were some. Good... There's actually there's a lot of big names to play that. Mike Bibby. Mike, Mike Bibby. The dude's Bibby. on roids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, he looks huge. Oh my god. Next up, they're gonna be signing Delonte West and uh, LeBron James' mom. <laughs> Uh, doing workouts in the locker room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so who's uh, who's some other big name uh, free agents that are still out there in the NBA? I know there's a couple of them. Uh, there really wasn't much when I looked. Like, oh, Kawhi. Kawhi. Yeah, where's he going? We don't know. Where's he? Go- Come on. Did you? Do you, do you think he's gonna go to LA? I think, all I hear is he's going to the Lakers, and I'm getting pissed. I don't think he will. I don't think he wants to play. With you understand? You understand? He goes to the Lakers. They win a championship, right? I don't think so. Kawhi just did it like single handedly. Yeah, but him, against the best team. Well, him, LeBron, and AD. I don't know if that works. I think that does. I think I, th- I think that is the Cavs team in 2016 
on Royce. With a, with a, with a better uh, you mean, mid. You mean a taller team? <laughs> yeah, tall, yeah, a taller team. Tall. Uh, with a better center. With a much better center. Yeah. Well, cool. I mean, well, really. I mean, Kawhi's better than Kyrie. No. Oh. Yes. All the Kawhi. Way, all the way around. Uh, Kyrie with the Cavs is like legendary point guard. Well, yeah, because he was good in his role. Kyrie, the last two years? Okay, yeah, Kyrie, or uh, Kawhi's better. Yes, I'll own that. Kawhi, Kyrie 2016. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Kawhi's shown he can carry a team on his own, basically. Yeah, he has. With, Kyrie throws temper tantrums and then leaves for Mexico. For a team that was arguably more talent, had more talent than Toronto, just saying. Boston? Yeah. Hands down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hands down, and better coaching. Yeah. No offense to, you know, Canadian. Uh, you Nick suck. Hurst. But, <laughs> and, I mean, really. I mean, Stevens is already proven. Speaking of Canadians. Hockey! H- hockey! I like a free hockey! I actually do love hockey. I am very, 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 very sad right now about the Blue Jackets, how this is going. However... You know, there's only one. I'm gonna team's... hold back my bias. There's only one. I'm gonna hold back my bias, Jimmy. There's only one team singing the blues this offseason, Don't, uh, and that's uh, the Blue Jackets. Uh, the other one's celebrating a championship. What a dick. Just saying. Multiple teams. I gotta be a dick. You know what? All right. So first things first. Uh, I want, I'm very excited to see where Marcus Johansson goes. Johansson. Yo, Johansson. Um, from the. Was he the Bruins? Yeah, the Bruins. So. Bruins were left in ruins. <laughs> sure were. Eat that stool, Prez. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love your stuff. Your pizza reviews are great. However, we're just going to kind of bust through some of the major signings. Um, Cam Talbot, he ended up going to Calgary after the Oilers traded him off last year. Uh, it was the final year of his contract, so... Uh, then Mike Smith comes and he signs with the Oilers, so that's a pretty good move. The Oilers. The Oilers. Coming to sign with the Oilers. <laughs> Huge fan. Sebastian Ajo. He signed with Montreal, but the Hurricanes still have seven days to counter that offer. Now, oh, is that he, deal. He's restricted? Then? Yeah, he's a restricted free agent. Do they? Yeah, let me, get, let, me find, let me find these here numbers. Should they match it? Oh, yeah, absolutely they should match it. That's their entire offense, pretty much. Uh, it was five-year, 40, well, 42-2, pretty much, or 42-3. And he's only 22? Oh, oh yeah. You, oh, ha- yeah. you oh, have yeah. to, then. You have to, you have to match that. You get him until he's 27. I mean, for, for, for 8.4 a year? Come on. Even if it's 8.5, he's not. Nah, that's, that's, yeah, for the Hurricanes, that's big. That's big for them. Yeah, you, and for Montreal, that would really help them. Yeah, if they get him. But I'm, the Hurricanes will match that. And so then he'll stay. He'll stay. He should. Yeah, he should stay. Hurricane. <sighs> Talk about a kick to the nuts. Here's what we're coming oh, up man. with: Panarin, aka Breadman, aka Russian who left, aka <laughs> he's gone to the Rangers. Rest in peace, Breadman. For man. less than the Blue Jackets offered. Seven years. It's eleven point six a year. The Blue Jackets offered him seven uh, at like fourteen and a half. Fourteen point five a year or something. It was uh, very upset. Very, very upset right now. And that's only the uh, tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, there's two more. Ser- Sergei Bobrovsky to Florida. Which, I mean, realistically, Panarin to the Rangers is not, it's no skin off my, my teeth here. Uh, Sergei to Florida. I mean... He's just going to sit in the sunset and make 10 mil for seven years. Yeah, I mean, and that's... I mean, eventually he'll end up being a backup... Because he'll end up, you know, fading out. I'm he's sure just, he's 30, so... I'm sure he'll be so sad. He's about to be 30, so yeah. Game, <laughs> I'm, I'm 37. Oh, I'm going to cry in my money. <laughs> oh. And then Duchesne went to Nashville for seven years. So, it's... God, I hate it. I hate it so much. Because Duchesne went to Nashville... Small price to pay for salvation. Wait one, Thanos. please. Uh, Shane went to Nashville for was it eight million a year? That's ridiculous. I know Blue Jackets offered him more. God, it's annoying. Granted, he's not worth it. He's not worth eight a year. He's a little overrated. He's twenty eight already. Uh, seven year. I mean, I just don't see it. I don't see that being a great thing. Um, and the Preds right now are kind of going through a bit of a change. 
Well, yeah, and they, they don't know how to really go about it. So because well, yeah, they've gotten close both times and they just haven't been able to Yeah, they just kinda of fall out. What's it the last was it the last two or three three years or two years? Two years. I mean they've been contenders the last three. That's what I'm saying. They're so close but they can't get through that last hurdle. Yep. So Yeah, uh, so I mean it's and even you know you know, Bob to Florida, that's not that's not bad. You know, Florida's gonna have a great goalie. You know, they just lost uh what's his face just retired. So I mean I think the really the only one that hurt the Blue Jackets was Panarin. Yeah, because you just took away a whole good chunk of offense. That sucks. Yeah, you that better sucks. Better hope someone steps up. <laughs> Sonny Milano. <laughs> oh come on, Sonny man, I'm calling you out. Let's go. I need you to step up. We're gonna re sign you because you're a restricted free agent. So we're gonna re sign you and you're gonna you're gonna get called up because it's about time and because you've showed enough to where you should be able to maintain on the pros. If you can't, then you're not worth anything. They're just going to cut you, and you ain't going to play anymore anyway. Pretty much how that goes. But there's some there's some good good signings here. Gustav Nyquist, he did sign with the Blue Jackets for four years. That's a good move. Yay. And Ryan Murray stays with the Blue Jackets on a two-year deal, which is pretty great. So a lot of movement in Columbus this, this today. But... And it's only the start. It's only the start. Nyquist isn't young. He's about to be 30. Murray's Murray's younger. He was coming off a career year before he got hurt. That's it's, oh, There's a lot of good moves there. Okay, if you had to offer either Duchesne the seven years or keep Nyquist with the four years, who would you rather have for that? If you had to choose one. I would, I would uh, I'd say Duchesne. For that seven-year deal? Yep. Yeah, because he'll end up being younger by the time Nyquist is done with his, I think. Uh, no, what? Duchesne. Well, Hold saying, on, well, let, me, let saying, me check real quick. Let me I'm check just, real quick. I'm now, saying, now I don't know his actual age cause off I'm, the top of my head. I'm I, think, I was asking, like, because if, if you keep Gustav for four years or you either choose Duchesne for that seven years. Who well, would Duchesne's really? 28, Gustav's 30. Let's look at ages real quick. Like, in days. I thought they did it here. No, they don't do it on this site. Anyway... You figure... So you'd rather have Duchesne for the long term? Yeah, I would I would keep Duchesne. Duchesne, he's got two more years than Nyquist pro, and Nyquist is two years older. Uh, I mean, Nyquist going to be, he's pulling down five and a half a year. I mean, at that point, Duchesne in the playoffs was finding chemistry with these guys. I think that would have been a really, really good move, and I think it would have helped him keep um, Ryan Dezingle in the long run because him and Dezingle have a really good chemistry. So, I got him marked as a center, huh? Interesting. I'm talking about Dezingle, not Duchesne. Uh... But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Duchesne would have been a better move to keep him. Um, but I think that Duchesne wanted to go to Nashville. There was talk of it going, of him going anyway, mm-hmm. right when the trade happened. So, uh, whatever, we'll see what else goes. It's just sad now. It's just all sad. I mean, so, I don't even know who the best center is still available. Yeah, unrestricted. Or... Let's just find out. Oh, let's go for Joe Thornton. Uh, no, Johansson wouldn't be bad, but he's not Duchesne. Spoon, oh, man. Lee just signed. Andrews Lee just signed. Uh, they, I mean, they. well, Dezingle already told him he's not coming back. That's not great. Well, Colin White. That's, I don't know who that is. That's, that's not good. Ryan Donato. I don't know. Vincent Praplin? Praplin? Zemgus Gergensons? No, nope, this isn't good. This is not good. All right, we're going to stop there. Matt Zuccarello, he signed with Minnesota, five years, 30 mil. That's not bad. That's wild. That, hey, I see what you did there, kid. <laughs> Joe Pavelski, old man. Three-year deal with Dallas. Everybody was shocked that he wanted to leave or that he was going to leave or that he left, blah, 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 blah. He left. He's gone. Deal with it. Corey Perry. One of the most overrated players in hockey, in my opinion, mainly because I hate the Ducks. Uh, he signed a one-year deal with Dallas. Oh. I don't like Anaheim. He came from Anaheim. He played Anaheim, left, came back, and blah, blah, blah. He's not well, great. Now he's a star. Not a nice. Uh, Andre Sekera signs with Dallas on a one-year deal. Dallas makes some pretty pretty good signings. Pavelski and Corey on the same line. You know, they both know how to play the body. Sekera is a good uh, offensive defender. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's... 
Well, you're definitely you can definitely tell they're just trying to bolster for the short term and try to make the push while they have. Oh the, yeah, the, all three of, of those guys are over thirty. The, I mean, Pavels, Pavelski's, I think he's mid thirties plus. That's I think what I'm saying. Perry's. I mean, they, early thirties. I mean, since they already overachieved, they think they have what it takes to. Sacro's early thirties. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but, yeah, because they, yeah, I think they're just trying to like bridge guys. Yeah. Like help bring them across because the stars they they haven't been really relevant. They have good offensive. Guys, the first line, What's I'm saying? first two lines. They're trying, that's about it. they're trying to ride the momentum that they got from this past year. Yep. Because they got to the conference finals, right? With the Blues, it wasn't it. Or, yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So yeah, there's. I think they're just trying to get better in pieces to kind of hold, hold, yeah bridge, hold the glue together. Yep. Get yeah, glue it together. How about this? Breaking news: Carolina reportedly resigns uh, Petr Mrazek. That's nice. That's good. They brought their. Brought their goalie back. Okay. All right. But they're not bringing back Aho. Well, Carolina makes light of Aho offer sheet via witty Twitter response. Oh. So they're going to bring it back. <laughs> they're they're going to make so. that offer. So that'll, be, that'll be nothing. It'll be stupid to walk. I agree. Let a dude walk like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you don't let young talent, legitimate talent, walk like that. Yeah. Uh, so where we leave off? Jason Sekera, Spets. he's uh, to Dallas. Uh, Jason Spets, uh, signs with Toronto for a year. Alex Chazon, sorry, uh, he stays with the Oilers, okay, so he came in as a free agent last year on a one-year deal, kind of rejuvenated his, his career, Yeah. Uh, so he's going to stay for two more. Marcus Granlin, one-year deal with the Oilers, I'll take it, not bad, he's uh, 27, he's still, still got some stuff, still treading them tires, Ryan Hartman. Now, a lot of people don't think that he's relevant. I like Ryan Hartman. I think he's actually underrated. I think he skates pretty hard. He has a lot of heart. He sure does, for a man. Yeah. Uh, to Minnesota on a two-year deal. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, you see what I, 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 I did it, yeah. a, uh, Wayne Simmons to New Jersey on a one-year deal for $5 million. They lost him and Subban. This is, yeah. This is a sad day. It is a Wait, sad day. Wait, where did Subban go? Did, he go to, did he go to New Jersey, too? Um. For some reason, I thought he did. If, if you went to New Jersey, that'd be really funny. I don't funny. think so. Damn. They don't have him on there. No, why is he? Oh, uh, you know what? I think they just bought out Subban, actually. Oh, so is he still a free agent? I think so. No, he is a devil. Oh, he is. How about that? <laughs> That's funny. Cool. How They're just staying together, keeping that team chemistry. Yeah, I guess so, huh? All right, well, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. No, well, I mean, granted, there wasn't that much. I don't know. I thought that the Preds could have done played a lot better than what they did last year. Uh, Anders Lee, he stays with the Islanders. We found that out as we were starting to record. Uh, Brandon Tanev, he signed a six-year deal with Pittsburgh. That's a pretty good move for Pittsburgh, in my opinion. I think they're going to – That's it's a lot of youth in the center uh, of their offensive pairings. And Penguins uh, are kind of an old team, right? Pit, eh, are they, are they a good to mix? an extent, yeah. Good mix. But at the same time, they have a really solid team, regardless. So yeah. can't really knock it if it's going, if it's working for you. Yeah. Timo Meyer stays with San Jose for another four years, twenty-four million. Young talent, sign him, pay him. You know, yeah. he stays. Well, and San Jose is an old, older team. San Jose is so. one of the older teams too. So, so. yeah, you get that young guy. Yep. Yunus Donskoy moves on to Colorado with a four-year deal, uh, four-year deal worth fifteen point six million. Talk, yeah, I talk mean, about an avalanche. Yeah, a <laughs> nice. What a nice. There you go. And Tyler Myers moves on to Vancouver five years at thirty million. Uh, I didn't realize Tyler Myers was actually so old. So that's that's kind of get him to his thirty four, thirty five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. They're thirty four, I think. Yeah, so that's not so so bad. It could be worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we would like to take a moment to. Uh, uh, say our condolences to uh, the Angels and uh, Tyler Skaggs, who passed away. Um, they don't know the cause of his death, but... just Yeah, we got that, too, right when we started. Yeah, so I wanted to just put it out there to support the sports community. So rest in peace, Tyler Skaggs. Rip, and buddy. God bless, I guess. Yeah, God yeah. bless. Good luck. Um, you know, we give the... Hope the family's doing all right, but... You know, at the end of the day, I hope they find out what happened and get some answers. So, on that note, that is our show. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Uh, again, please, please don't forget to reach out if you have any any information you want to share with us, if you want to write with us, if you want to help us. If you want to be a part of this, this is going to be big. 
It's going to be big news bears. You know what I mean? This is going to be good stuff. Please, please, please reach out. Do not be afraid to talk to us. We are very easygoing. Uh, our Gmail, sportsav440 at gmail.com. Twitter, at underscore sports avenue. Those are the best places to find us. Talk to us. We'll be there. We'll answer you. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you again. God bless you.